Resource packs. It's one of the best ways to customize Minecraft 1.20, and the best part is you don't have to download mod loaders or anything other than just one file, the resource pack itself, and, well, of course, Minecraft. Nothing changes about launching Minecraft. You launch it with your normal release and everything else stays the same. It's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get a texture pack installed. Now, first things first, you'll need to download a texture pack, also known as a resource pack. They're the exact same thing. And those terms are used interchangeably all the time. So keep that in mind. And I'll probably do that in this video as well, switching them to back and forth. Now in the description down below, click the second link. That's the link to here, which is our list of 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.20. It goes over everything. Up here at the top will be the video you're watching right now. And then under it, you will find all sorts of amazing 1.20 resource packs. Something worth noting, I'm actually going to be installing a 1.19.4 resource pack in this video, Doku Craft. It's not updated yet. Then why is it on this list? Because it's still fully compatible, except for some of the 1.20 blocks. I'll show you what I mean once we get in game. We're also going to grab bare bones here. All of these packs are truly amazing and have been confirmed working in 1.20. Even if they are for a previous version, they're all still fully working. So you can install any of these using this method. But this will work for other resource packs as well that aren't on our list, assuming they are also 1.20 compatible. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and download DokuCraft. That will take you to a separate page on our site here if you download DokuCraft and go ahead and click on the download DokuCraft button to be taken to the official DokuCraft download page. Now there's three versions of DokuCraft. It doesn't matter which one you select, but as we can see here, they are for 1.19.4. So we want to download the Java edition for 1.19.4. In some cases, you'll have both a bedrock and a Java edition of a pack. This video is for Java edition. Bare Bones is on CurseForge. I wanted to mention this because a lot of packs you'll find are on Curse Forge, and when you're on Curse Forge, you want to click on Files here, and then find the Minecraft game version 1.20. Right here it is. Go ahead and click on the three dots on the right hand side, and click on Download File. Then download them again after a few seconds, and while that's downloading, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. You want mods? You want mod packs? You want plugins? You just want to play vanilla Minecraft with your friends? Well, you can do it all at Simple Game Hosting. That's on top of high quality hardware, amazing live chat support, and one of the easiest and simplest to use back end panels in the Minecraft hosting industry. So go check out at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour Minecraft server running any Minecraft version you want, including 1.20. So, nevertheless, our download is now complete. We can minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and move these to our desktop. Most likely, they're going to be found in your downloads folder, which can be found by searching for your downloads folder in the start menu. Once you're in your downloads folder, there they are. Again, we're just moving these to your desktop. It's kind of temporary. I mean, it is temporary, but I just like to have them on the desktop, especially for the tutorial. But even for you, it's easier to have them on the desktop. From there, we can open up Minecraft. And like I said at the beginning of this video, nothing special needs to be done for Minecraft to install resource packs or texture packs. They're the same thing. All you got to do is launch up 1.20, the latest release and it will open up. We'll see you in game. Now here we are in Minecraft. In front of the main menu, just click on options and then resource packs. Then in the bottom left, you have the open pack folder button. Now let's do that one more time. From the main menu, click options, resource packs, and open pack folder in the bottom left. This will open your resource packs folder where all you've got to do is drag and drop your resource packs from your desktop into this resource packs folder. When you do that, we come back to the game. They are both here. Here's what's cool. Bare bones is just going to let us install it. We Hover over the little icon there and click the arrow to move it to the selected section. When we do that, we can click done. Minecraft's going to reload and you'll notice that this resource pack actually changes quite a bit about Minecraft, including the start screen here. It's still, you know, the, the cherry trees. It's still 1.20, but it's in the new texture. Now, if we log into Minecraft 1.20 here, we will see that sure enough, this texture pack is working and it updates all of the new blocks as well. Look at that. I mean, looking good, right? However, what about Doku Craft? It was red. Well, luckily you can switch resource packs in game by going to options, resource packs, and then here we can see Doku Craft is there. So let's go ahead and remove bare bones by clicking the arrow there. And then for Doku Craft, it says it's incompatible, but click the arrow on that profile picture anyway. It's going to pop this up. Are you sure you want to do this? And yes, we are. And by the way, if you did ever have an issues with a re resource pack, you can simply either just click it here, or if you can't even do that, you can go to that pack folder and remove it and it will fix any issues. But we're not going to have any issues with Doku Craft because when we click done, it's going to reload Minecraft. And sure enough, Doku Craft is active. And that is except for the cherry trees here, the bamboo, uh, the glass is actually okay, but you can see some of these blocks, the 1.20 blocks, for example, aren't updated. For example, this is normal sand, this is 1.20 sand, this is the uh, 
This is updated. This isn't, right? So how do we fix that? Well, we can uh, do a few things. Truthfully, there's no way to fix it and keep the same Doku Craft style. But if you have another medieval pack, for example, let's say you had John Smith Legacy that was updated, you could turn it into that texture. In this case, though, let's turn it into the bare bones texture just to show you it's working because they'll be very different. So go ahead and open up the options resource packs menu again. And then what we want to do is go ahead and move over bare bones. Now, when we do that, if we hit done now, Doku Craft would completely disappear. But if we hover over bare bones, you'll notice there's this little arrow to move it down. So let's do that. We move it down, and now Doku Craft is on top, bare bones is on bottom. Basically, what this means is that Doku Craft will be first priority, right? Those textures will load first. And then anything that Doku Craft doesn't have, it'll load the bare bones textures. This is great if you want to install, let's say, a tool pack where it just changes the textures of tools, but you want to leave everything else the same or even have another resource pack. You can put the tool pack on top, your other resource pack underneath. Go ahead and click done here. It's not going to reload Minecraft and we'll notice that those textures, that suspicious sand and suspicious gravel have now changed as well as the cherry trees and even the bamboo has changed there. Look at that. See, it's looking pretty good. And that's how you know that this is working. And now that we have updated some of these textures to the, uh, <laughs> the bare bones pack and some of them to Doku Craft. They don't look the best together, but it's good for this demonstration. So nevertheless, that's how you can download and install resource packs in Minecraft 1.20. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out our company, Simple Game Hosting, at the first link in the description down below to get your own Minecraft 1.20 server. Peace.